first Adobe XD, then Figma, the third link is now here. This new UI design tool will definitely change the game and will bring so many amazing new tools in as well. Imagine all the capabilities of Figma, Adobe XD, even tools like Framer or Protopy, all in your hand, in your phone. Yes, Play is an invite-only application which does just that. So right now I'm gonna have the screen on the left and I'm on the right, of course. And I click on play. And the first thing you see is of course the splash screen and the onboarding, very usual, but you get to see a glimpse of what the app is all about and what it can do or achieve. Once I've gotten in, as you can see, you have all the multiple projects that you see on the screen. On the bottom, we have a couple of tab options, shared links. So if someone shares a design with you, this is where you'll see it. Um, explore. So you can basically explore designs that the team has made for you. So even if you're a complete beginner, you can just look at these examples that they've created. Just click on any one of them and you can see what you can do with this tool. I quickly play this for you guys and you can literally see how it works here on screen. Oh, look at how smooth that is. Wow. Okay. And I open one of these and it loads up. That was smooth again. So this is uh, an example, a basic example of what this tool can really achieve or do. And you also have a learn tab. So if you want to look at tutorials, they have tutorials as well. That's cool. First thing that we're going to see is support for Figma. Yes, you can click on the top right, this plus icon on the top right. You can create a new project which says Puneet Chawla, which is my name just for, for the sake of it right now. I can then click on this plus icon on the top right. And I have a feature called import from Figma. This is a big deal. They already have some design templates and stuff like that. So I'm going to pick one screen from there and then we'll go ahead from there. So I have this nice map screen and in a second, you'll see why this is such an incredible app. First of all, if you click on the top, there is a pages. So if you have multiple pages, it'll show up here. If you don't, you can check out things like color. If you import a design system from Figma, it will show up here as a design system. And then you can pick and drop according to that as well. I think this is fantastic. It has components as well. So if you create a component in Figma or any other tool, it will appear here as well. Now let's jump into the screen to actually edit this. I'm going to click on the screen right here that I see. As you can see, it's already located where I live. I live in Noida, which is correct. And the location is accurate, but I'm not going to zoom in for privacy concerns. And the map is real. Yes, it's a real map that they are fetching. So real prototypes are completely possible with this. Now, as you can see at the bottom here, if I click on the text right here, I can quickly click on the text on the screen and it will allow me to edit this. You can change the text just by swiping from left to right. See how the text style is changing at the bottom right here. And I think that's fantastic. Apart from that, you can even change everything else that you see in Figma or XD or anywhere else you can change here as well. So I think that's fantastic. You have other things like colors, so you can change background color, color, corner radius. Essentially everything you see in Figma, you have in this tool. And since you're importing from Figma, this is Figma for mobile. <laughs> this is literally the Figma for mobile application that we'll be missing out on. Also, you have other things like whether it should grow with the device size, whether it should have any padding margins, things like that. And you can add the interaction, but we'll get to that in a second. This tool also has a lot of cool integrations with a lot of cool providers, things like Unsplash, Pexels, where you can literally import videos. So for example, I want to add a video onto this, maybe a video of Noida in this case. I will click on this plus icon on the right here, on the right here. Uh, you can see all the things that you can add. So text, image, S SF symbol, SVG, yes, it has SVG support, video, map, text field, picker. The list is essentially endless. Now for this case, I want to add a video. I'll click on video. As you can see, the video has now been added here. It's just a green square right now. However, if I just scroll like this to the bottom, I can quickly just go to this play button here and say video. Inside video, you have an option to import if you want to import from your system or you can just use Pexels. I think Pexels is great. I'll quickly search for Noida. Pexels is essentially Unsplash, but for videos in a case. Right for now, right now I'll just select this and I'll swipe down. And as you can see, the video has been added. I can then go on to, you know, select other things, whether it should autoplay, loop, and whether it should be muted. Perfect. And if I click on the top right, this play button here, 
it will literally play the video here and you can see the map load and everything. Fantastic. Double tapping here or, and holding will essentially bring you back. There are a ton of interactions that you can add onto elements, for example, videos, carousels and more. If I click on this, if I play this one right here, it's a bunch of cool carousels that come up. You can add information, you can set how it animates. And all of this is done in a very easy fashion. If you go inside how it's done, uh, literally there is a interaction button here, which I can click at the bottom. And then you have set scroll. So the scroll should be set to a certain position. The card should open. And for if you click on it again, it should close. So essentially very simple workflow, very simple timeline of how you can create interactions and animations and just a wonderful set of resources. Another cool feature that I realized was, if you add an interaction to a certain element, just like we do in XD or Figma, it will then add it everywhere else. So if I click on this M right here, it goes to the master element or the main component in this. Inside here, you can edit this and it will edit everywhere, including animations. So if you set an animation in one place, it will set everywhere else. I think that is, one of the coolest features that I've found here. Prototyping seems like a demo, but a lot of tools don't have functional text boxes, functional assets that you can actually work with. So for example, I want to order this little thing, and this is a nice demo here. If I click on order, it brings up a model view, and this model view is completely functional. The buttons are active. If I click on plus, as you can see, there's a little animation that happens on clicking plus. If I click on the radio button, it actually activates or sets itself, uh, which I think is very, very interesting. So it has all these amazing functional assets that you can play with, including things like text fields, password fields, and more. In the setting, you can see what is to come in 2021, all the features that they'll be adding, what, uh, what all they will be introducing in the tool. So I think this is a nice, little screen that you can check out what's going to happen next. At the end of the day, you might want to work with other people in your team or if you're working with someone else on a design there, if you click on my team on the top, as you can see, there are members, libraries and owners. So in this case, I'm the owner. To add people, you just need to click on go to shared links. And if someone else is on play, they can share a link with you. And that way you'll be able to add more people who are using play on this and create a complete team right here, my team. Uh, under this, there's only one person right now, libraries, owners. So you can see everything here. And in the future, they're going to bring something like you see on Figma, the collaboration features, they're going to bring the collaboration features to this tool as well very soon. Uh, that is what I've been told. An incredible little tool which has so much potential. It's essentially a powerhouse in your hand and it allows you to do everything you can do on Figma, XT, everywhere else on your phone. And I can't wait to see how it transpires, how it goes forward and what it brings to the table in the next few months. And also I'm hoping, I have my fingers crossed, they have told me that they'll be bringing an Android app soon. It's in the timeline. Um, however, for iOS users, you can quickly go to their website and apply for an invite. Uh, if you want an invite for this, you can always you can always go to the comments down below and say, hey, Puneet, can we have an invite? And I'm in touch with the play people. So hopefully they'll be able to provide you guys with some invites as well. Again, an incredible application with a lot of potential and essentially Figma in your hands. I hope you liked the video. If you did, click on the like button. Don't forget to click on the like button and subscribe because I come up with such cool content every Monday and Thursday. So if you want to see videos like this, make sure you subscribe. I'll see you next time, same place, same time. Till then, God bless.